welcome to the Get On ADV Fest happening here in the Black Hills of South Dakota. We're officially hitting the road and riding some dirt. I'm so excited. So if you guys don't know how it works, there are different daily schedules and this is put on by the app Rever. So Rever has gone out and already pre-scouted a bunch of different roads ranging from easy, intermediate, difficult, advanced. So this is what we're looking at today. So all of the routes are up here. So you just scan your QR code, pick your route, and then go have an adventure. So this is the beginner scenic loop. So we are over here at the Bear Butte State Park next to Bear Butte Lake. I think there's a Bear Butte campground and the beautiful mountain Bear Butte is behind me. It's fun to say. So this is exactly what I needed today. I needed something flat, kind of straight, easy to ride, you know. I, I just need to get my confidence back. So Jordan is behind me on his very first time riding a Harley Davidson Pan America. If you guys don't know, my husband has built up his Sportster into a Scrambler and then rebuilt it down into kind of like a chopper style bike. So I was like, you know what? I don't think we need to take your Sportster on any of these off-road roads. Uh, let's try an actual adventure bike. So he's on a Harley Davidson Pan America and he's gonna make a video about his experience on that bike. This is the ADV Fest. There are so many people today at this rally that are going out and having so much fun and amazing time, you know, riding off road. And here I am like, I'm finally riding dirt roads this year, okay? That's impressive because I didn't ride any dirt roads last year. <laughs> I rode one on accident. I'm pretty sure the speed limit's probably like 45 miles an hour through here and I'm like happy doing 30. <laughs> I will say standing up on the Pan America feels a lot easier than standing up on the Himalayan. Even though I said standing up on the Himalayan is a bit more difficult than standing up on the Pan America, riding the Himalayan feels really good. This bike feels really good right now. Holy crap, this road is 55 miles an hour. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> not for me. I, I, I'm not that good yet, okay? It is a very nice road, though, so I can totally see why it's 55. <laughs> Headed up into the hills now. This is beautiful. I'm really having a good time on this road. I'm, like, not even looking at the road because it's so pretty up here. I've never been up on these roads before. And that's the thing I've like always wanted about, you know, an off-road bike or a type of adventure bike is just taking the road less traveled. Now, truth be told, you guys, come on, listen to me. Uh, I, I'm, I'm a big baby, so you can totally ride this road on like a not ADV motorcycle because this is, this is genuinely beautiful. I'm very, very pleased with this because this is just confidence inspiring, you know? You go hit the road do a couple off-roads, get used to your bike, and explore. Explore some of the sites that you can't always see from the pavement. But after doing this, I feel like, yeah, I could probably not necessarily hit up some more technical roads, but I could go on further roads like this. Slightly, slightly more challenging, you know? And I just told Jordan, I was like, good thing we have adventure bikes. So we can go anywhere. Well, this is probably a while. See, that's the thing that cracks me up about how I'm so scared to go off road and I feel so proud of myself right now and I'm like dude during Sturgis people on baggers are riding these roads all the time because this is like where their campgrounds are the fact that I feel confident enough on you know this road with some peak gravel and stuff and some ruts and washboards makes me feel like I can probably take on a nicer bigger dirt road I'm like these are proper roads this is there's nothing off road about what we're doing right now <laughs> But it just reintroduces us to the bikes and like riding and, oh, 15 miles an hour. Good Lord, I'm going to jail. So Jordan and I were just talking about how these roads are like, you know, the nicest, cleanest gravel roads you ever get. And I'm like, yeah, I know there's, there's nothing off-road about what we're doing. <laughs> and I even said that too, like earlier talking, I'm like, I mean, they're, they have really nice finite, like sedimentary little, tiny pebbles, but it's nothing like Ohio gravel roads. No, yeah, these have been lovely and it's, it's to the point now where I'm actually enjoying it so much, I am looking forward to doing maybe some more technical stuff up in the hills. Because usually it's like the hills and the corners that freak me out the most. Just anything with inertia. <laughs> How are you liking the Pan America right now? People are going to hate me, 
but it honestly just feels like a nicer version of my Sportster Scrambler. I, I, I don't know, baby. I have ridden your Sportster and I have ridden that Pan America and I definitely prefer one over the other. <laughs> well, I said it just, it's a nicer version, but I mean, the ergonomics are like very good. So Jordan and I just got back to the Buffalo Chip, but what we didn't do earlier, which we probably should have, but you know, safety third. There is an intro to easy course right here on the chip. We just got done doing a little over 87 miles today. And uh, I think we should actually go practice our skills off-road. Uh-oh, there's a big group of bikers up here. Oh no, am I crashing a class? <laughs> this is kind of fun. <laughs> we get to learn. I'm just gonna follow these people. Okay guys, well we uh we were just gonna come back here and do this on our own, but I think we just accidentally crashed an ADV class. Yeah, we should have done this this morning. Alright guys, look at look at us taking an off-road class on accident. <laughs> Wee! No, this is great! We totally should have done this earlier. Uh-oh, someone went down. Someone went tumbling down. It's very silty through here, so be careful. He's he's acting not okay. It's just very silty. I'm worried about you. We need momentum. You're gonna have to. That's very silty. What did we get ourselves into? Uh-oh. I don't know. Better find out. Like a glove, baby. Good job, honey. <laughs> Good job. I know. Good job, baby. It does, yeah. That bike is amazing. Woo! All right, careful not to wash out your front end. Yeah, it's a little silty. <laughs> I know. Well, we're not supposed to be in here. This is very, very silty. Ah! I think we're gonna bail out. <laughs> I don't wanna be in their class. They're like teaching people. Okay, yeah, I'm not doing that again. Holy crap, I can't believe we just accidentally did that. <laughs> okay, bye everybody. Honestly, I'm glad we did that following people. Now this is some fun off-road. Just watch out for them gopher holes. Alrighty, we are, what is going on up here? We just got back from our 80-ish mile ride. Maybe only 32 of those miles were actually like dirt road, but how did you feel? Good. And I'm excited to go out again tomorrow, but we are done with the motorcycles today and time to relax by the adventure beach and enjoy a nice adult beverage. Look at our beautiful beach. dinner time the buffalo chip for the get on ADV fest look at this line it moves pretty quickly so they're doing good so I think it's officially time for the slow races are you doing the slow races trying to do three up on the slow races <laughs> yes we gotta find Emily. They're gonna do three up on the slow races, so we gotta head over there and get a front row spot. Oh, good job, Maggie! Alrighty, well, day three brings us to 
an all girls off-road ride. So these are all women ready to line up and take an easy course. I am very, 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 very nervous. So we'll see how today goes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ladies today. This is exciting. I got Kate in front of me on a dirt bike, a little two-stroke, and I'm just breathing in the fumes. <laughs> All right, I'm laughing now. It might not be so funny here in a little bit once we start getting on dirt. We're on the Himalayan, honey. We can make it. This little bike can do everything. If it can't, it's all user error. So the way a lot of these routes are mapped out is you have to take some very beautiful scenic paved roads in order to get to the gravel roads. And that's what we're doing right now. Just heading out of the city of Sturgis, heading up into the hills. You can feel it cooling down. And uh, I just love that I'm with a group of women. Every single woman in this group, I consider a friend. Nobody is a stranger. Everyone is here to take care of each other. And we are all different riding levels. Like some of these women have been doing dirt their whole life. And so they're very skilled. They're up towards the front and they're gonna kind of be guiding us through in the back. You know, those of us who are a little less experienced off-road and showing us the best lines, pulling over. We're gonna have safety briefs, you know, it's just, I feel really safe right now. And I know that probably sounds like I'm a little millennial snowflake who needs my safe space. But dude, when you're riding motorcycles, it's dangerous. I, I just don't care who says anything otherwise. I don't care. Like a crash is a crash. There is people that went down yesterday, people that broke their leg, people that messed up their bodies. And I don't want to do that. <laughs> so I feel really happy and safe that I'm with a group of girls that I know and love. And we're all just here to have a good time. So we are officially off-road so far. This has been pretty good. I know it goes up and down, has a little bit of washboards, gets a little twisty, but so far so good. I do know there are some more technical sections of this road, so we're just gonna take it nice and slow and follow the leader. Is this the hardest part? Some people are weird about down. I'm weird about down. No, I mean like, is this gonna, is it gonna, is there gonna be anything harder than this? I think they're gonna get to the point where there's a tree stop, so there's gonna be a bump in the middle. And what we'll do is we'll stop everybody and say, okay, just remember to take this stop. Yeah. Just stop, just take this stop. This is a big hill. That was scary. <laughs> so far, this has been exactly what I've needed for me and the Hemi to just test my skill and really push myself. A few of those things I just did back there, I, I don't think I was quite confident for. And to just do it and have guidance and have people be able to do their line in front of me was exactly what the doctor ordered. It was really nice to be able to feel, you know, scared and confident at the same time. So I, I don't know. I don't know what the word is for that, but hopefully you guys can still see. Uh, it's a it's a wee bit dusty out here. This has been awesome, man. The Get On ADV Fest is seriously probably one of my favorite rallies that I go to. And I don't eat, well, technically, technically I'm adventure riding right now, but I wouldn't say this is something that I do on a regular basis. But I'm proud of myself. This is fun. I'm having fun for now. <laughs> just had an angry guy in a Ford truck totally like pass us pr pretty dangerously you know a lot of these girls are standing up they can't see behind them so not cool I get it you got places to be but not cool I guess this is the single track and probably one of the most challenging but oh boy wow that's big
<laughs> I got it. Uh, this is my first crash. <laughs> Are you okay? No, I'm actually really good. That was easy. Okay, just take a break. Go get it. Thank you. You're good. Oh, this is so much lighter than that. I know. <laughs> well, I was trying to miss those big ruts, and then the front end just went out, and I was like, we're going. Thank you. <laughs> That's my first crash. I'm so excited. <laughs> I tried. I was with my leg. I was like, oh, I'm just, I'm good. It's fine. Yeah, I was like, Whitney made it look so easy. I know. I was trying to follow her. But, oh my God. Yeah. Which one did I hit? <laughs> Dude. Even I was like, I'm just going to follow. And then I was like, it would have been smarter to stop. Take a line and then go. I was gonna go around, but I watched Wit and I was like, no, nah, that'll be easy. And then I noticed the two and I was like, ah, oh, fuck. So I was trying to go. Oh, yeah, it's, it's okay. Lost your wheel. I was like, oh, shit. Oh, you're so close to the end. Yeah, that's actually my very first crash. So I was like, I feel like I need to just get one under my belt. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. It was good. It didn't look at, I mean, make sure you take note of the terrain. That's what it took to take you out. Yep. <laughs> I know these, I mean, like, I'm glad it wasn't just that, but these are weird. I was like, I don't know what this is. These were way harder than I As soon as I got on, my tires got on, I'm like, oh no. I saw mud and I was like, oh, thank God, there's these. And then I got on them and I was like, fuck this, this sucks. Yeah. I probably should have been smarter to just go around, but it was all worth it. I don't know, because if you. Whitney made, she fooled us. Whitney made it look so easy. Yeah. Well, thank you guys for the help. You know what's impressive though? This rock form mount. <laughs> there we go, you got it. All right, post crash, took a break, had to help some other people. I didn't help. <laughs> Maggie and Emily and Jen did excellent helping that guy get out of the mud pit. But we have about 15 more minutes on this little single track and then Back to some beautiful dirt roads. slipping off my pegs I can't stand up so I need to see if I can take them off I have to every time I stand up I fall down yeah I've just been sitting down so oh that's just so aggravating I'm like trying to I'm trying to wipe off my boots We are all done with the dirt side of the pave. Oh, wait, what did I just say? We're all done with the dirt roads. And honestly, Ooh, so we just uh, finished having lunch. It was amazing. I didn't even take a picture or a video or anything. So I'm so hungry. But we are just actually going to vomit back into Sturgis and head over to the chip for this evening's festivities. But look at how dirty my little bike is. 
We got some good scrapes. The hand grips did what they were supposed to, protected it. Got some scrapes down on the bottom. And then the funny thing, my little uh, <laughs> my little bar is kind of whopper job. But you know what? Everything else is really great. Like the bike didn't take too hard of a hit. I didn't take too hard of a hit. And that's what it's all about. Being protected and being safe. Three full days of adventure riding, meeting like-minded people, watching super inspiring stories, and shopping some of the coolest gear in the area. If you guys are ever interested in checking out the Get On ADV Fest in either Mojave or in Sturgis, there will be a link down below. You can check out the event for the year. This one was one for the books. I had an amazing, amazing time. So huge shout out to Revzilla for sending me out here again and really getting me out of my comfort zone and experiencing what the Road Less Traveled has to offer. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and until my next one, you be good and I'll see you later. There we go. <laughs> oh my god, is that Maggie Hicks? <gasps> Who is she? All right, we are officially starting the slow races. Oh my god, we got three girls, one bike. Back at it. Get on ADV Fest day three. All ladies, all ladies out here today exploring the trails. Woo! It's been fun. Anyone else? They're giving them away. Like, just say you were there. <laughs> <laughs>